In this video, I'm going to show you how to stabilize a shaky video using Wondershare Filmora. This is a great tool if you want to make your videos look smoother and more professional. A link will be in the description to download this tool. The first thing we need to do is drag and drop the shaky video into the timeline. After that, you'll see an option to either match the media or adjust the project settings. Both options work well, but for this example, I'll select match media so the video settings fit perfectly. Now, let's take a look at the video. As you can see, it's quite shaky and moves a lot. To fix this, we'll use the built-in stabilization tool. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see several tabs like video, color, and speed. First, click on the video tab. Under the video tab, you'll find a list of different tools, including chroma key, AI portrait, smart cutout, motion tracking, and stabilization. For this video, we'll focus on stabilization. Click on it, and then hit the button that says click to start analysis. Filmora will now begin analyzing the video to detect the shakiness. This might take a few moments depending on the length of your video. For this video, it took like 30 seconds to complete. Once the analysis is complete, you'll be able to adjust the level of smoothness. You can choose between weak, normal, or strong stabilization. I recommend starting with normal since it usually gives great results without cropping the video too much. But if you want even more stability, you can move it to strong. It's all about finding the balance that works for your video. There's also an option called lens correction, but we won't need that for now since it's mostly for fixing fisheye effects from wide angle lenses. If you have any question, please let me know in the comments. A link for the tool is in the description. Let's go ahead and preview the stabilized video. But before that, please like and subscribe. You support allows me to create more content like this. Let's continue. As you can see, it no longer moves up and down like it did before. If you want more stabilization, you can increase the strength and see how that looks. Now the video looks much smoother, and I'm really happy with the results. In my experience, Wondershare Filmora's stabilization tool is one of the best, and it's really easy to use. I've tried other AI stabilization tools before, but this one stands out because it's both effective and simple. Once you're satisfied with the stabilization, it's time to export the video. To do this, click on the Export button. You'll need to give your video a name, choose where to save it, and select the video quality settings. After that, just click Export again, and your video will be saved to your computer. And that's it. You've successfully stabilized your video using Wondershare Filmora. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to check out the rest of my playlist for more tips and tricks on using Wondershare Filmora. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.